Alright, I'm back again. And I guess I have a confession to make. I'm homesick. And I know that, that must come as a shock. Um, you know, it's... Moving to another country is, is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. And, uh, and I often uh, worried about it. And, I, I, you know, and I struggle. Um, but I know that uh, my wife will help me through this. Um, as hard as it is, uh, I wish I had some great advice to give people making the same move, but I don't, because I don't know how to do it. Um, if anyone does, I'd love to hear from you, but um, it's it's really difficult, and uh, you know, as much as I feel like I'm selling it, I like it here, it's not that I don't like it here, it's just that it's different, and it's not bad different or good different, it's just different, and uh, you know, that's, that's a struggle for me, things are different, and uh, you know, I'm just trying to keep going and uh, keep going through and uh, you know the whole time I was at home I uh, I wanted to be with my now wife and uh, and now I am and it's it's great it's amazing I love being married but it's the times when I'm not with her uh, and I'm just sitting at home uh, like right now that I really miss miss being at home um, so you know, it's times I go, and i got to try and keep myself busy and distracted, and, you know, um, and I like, you know, being able to help out around the house and stuff, I don't like having to do that work, <laughs> but uh, I do like uh, helping, helping my wife out with that, and she's at work, and I know she appreciates it, but uh, yeah, it's difficult, I miss home, and I like home, but I love my wife a lot more than I like home, and um, yeah, it's, it's a challenge, and I'm, I'm struggling through it, but I feel like I'll get there, uh, however that takes, uh, whatever form that takes, whatever I do to to get better at it, I will get better at it, uh, that's sort of my, my promise to myself, I have to get better at it, um, and it's tough, uh, but uh, you know, hopefully uh, this little YouTube channel, you can follow along, see how I go, uh, maybe get some tips, and look, seriously, I would love people to come out here, I know it's expensive, but, um, you know, I'm just going to describe how much I'm looking forward to November when my uh, twin sister comes out to visit and, uh, you know, just seeing her again. And I've got a friend from church who's coming out to San Antonio in, I think it's June, July. Uh, and, you know, it would just be great to see, to see her again as well. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult. And little things like that are a big lift. And I think, uh, you know, one of the reasons it's so hard is not knowing uh, when I'll be back. And that's a struggle. But, uh, you know, I guess it's just a note, so I miss you all at home. Um, you know, uh, I've just had a lot of people saying that they miss me this week, and that's just been, it's been nice to hear that, but it's been uh, extraordinarily painful to hear that as well, because, you know, part of me just thinks people get on with their lives and forget all about me at home, and, you know, and I'm the only one struggling with it, but other people miss me, and that's tough, and it's... It's nice to hear that, but uh, at the same same time, it's painful. Um, but I miss I miss everybody back at home. I miss home. But uh, you know, this is home now. Uh, as my wife keeps telling me, this is home, and uh, and it will be home. Um, but it just doesn't feel like it yet. So if anyone has great tips on how to deal with homesickness, please let me know. Uh, I'm dying to know. Anyway, I might give you an insight into my life um, next time I vlog. What it's like. Um, it's not depressing. I have a fine life, but uh, you know, but uh, I'll you might do that next vlog I do. But anyway, hope you had a good day. I hope everyone at home had a good Anzac Day. Uh, also, absolutely ecstatic about uh, Rangers winning the championship. The best thing about moving to America, one of the best things, has been that I can watch European football without staying up all night or waking up at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, so that has been just absolutely amazing. Uh, so there's always positives, but yeah, look, I am homesick, and it's tough, but I'm getting there, uh, and uh, you know, look, it's it's my wife, and uh, being with her is uh, what's keeping me uh, keeping me going and keeping me from from breaking down, I suppose, um, you know. So I just thank God so much that I have such a wonderful wife who supports me. And, uh, you know, it just shows that important getting a support network is whenever you're going to do something big. Uh, and that's definitely the one piece of advice I can give to someone. If you are moving, if you are making a big move, get support. Get someone 
someone you know who's going to support you. For me, that's my wife. Doesn't have to be a wife. Doesn't have to be a spouse. Could just be a good friend. That uh, you know, uh, I could lie and say that it's all been easy, but it hasn't. But uh, you know, it's getting there. And uh, I struggle. But I don't struggle every day. Uh, it's just those days where they're slow or nothing's happening. Or, you know, times when I'm with my wife are the easiest. And I'll find that the people that if they can get a support network, I reckon those times will be the easiest for them too. Anyway, I'm going to go because this is a sort of rambling. Uh, but I will uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye.